What's up guys, it's Sadzilla with another episode of Zilla Mode. You know, I'm starting to realize that YouTube is not a video streaming app. And you're probably thinking, um, then what am I watching right now, you dummy? And you may be right, you are streaming a video of mine currently, but what may be a video and content to you is just as important as me posting on X, Instagram, or Facebook. That's why, as a creator, I think I have to stop looking at YouTube as a place to post videos, you know, to get views, and instead a way to communicate with my audience. I think the same can be said for my music artist friends out there grinding it to get better numbers on Spotify or other streaming platforms. It's a realization that I think is going to help me become more effective in the way that I produce content. But how did I get here? Well, let's talk about it. You know, I think a big issue with the way... I view places like YouTube, Spotify, or other places to either promote my music or attempt to make view-heavy videos is just that, well, it's just that, a way to get views, a way to get streams, a way to sell an item, a product. And you will go to every video on this platform with the tags music marketing or how to blow up on YouTube, and they will give you all the rules to succeed. And if you follow them all, you'll get there. But even then, I'll still see someone new on YouTube follow all the rules. They have the right thumbnail, they have the right edit, they have the right title, and they're even great on camera, but it just gets nowhere, and that's because the audience just isn't there. The, not that the audience doesn't exist, but that YouTube hasn't found the audience for that video, and honestly, it may never find it. What matters is that person needs to stay consistent and vigilant in their videos, and what that means is they have to post. And when you think about that, it sounds familiar, right? Think of any social media platform ever. If you don't use MySpace, you'll never make friends. If you never post on Instagram, you'll never get followers. If you never post on TikTok, you'll never get views. The problem with YouTube and an extension, um, music platforms like Spotify, is that you have to be consistent, not just with the creation of videos or music, but with your messaging, your genre, your niche, and you have to do it over and over again. Promote it in all the right places over and over again before that platform knows who and what you are. Then, and only then, will you be able to find your audience and start building something worth your time. Or, I guess in this case, my time. See, moving forward on this channel, that's something I want to do. I wanted to start looking for what a video idea would work for music marketing earlier and maybe I could emulate them and I felt it deep in my gut that it just wasn't something I would enjoy doing. What I do enjoy doing is giving advice to other creators by conveying what's on my mind. The things that I am, as an artist, trying to improve. Not top five ways to blow up on Spotify, but top five problems I'm facing as an artist. The point is, this is not a video streaming app to me any longer. It's my journal, and I think that that can help more people than anything else I try to fake for views, but more importantly, it helps me connect with like-minded individuals like you guys. So if this video helped you change your mindset in any way, let me know down in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I drop pieces of my thoughts just like this one. Till then, I'm Zadzilla. Zilla Mode out.